Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make soft pastels. These are some that I have just made, and then this is all my supplies to make another little batch. So everything that you will need to make them, you will need some kind of chalk. I'm using French chalk. You can also use precipitate chalk or a couple of other supplies. I uh, just have to kind of Google what you can use there. You can also just use pigments. But until you've kind of got down a nice recipe for the pastels, I'd recommend using chalks just so that you don't waste loads of your nice pigment. Then these solutions that I have pre-made. So I've got acticide at the end here, which is a preservative. This is about quarter, half of a teaspoon of acticide with a litre of water. Then I have two different gum tragosant solutions. This is the binder. So I've got a weaker solution, which is one teaspoon of gum tragosanth with one litre of water, and a stronger solution, which is two teaspoons. Now the weaker one I made a couple of weeks ago, and as you can see in the top there, it's all pretty much dissolved or like gone to the bottom now. Uh, whereas this stronger one I made yesterday, and as you can see, it's got a bunch of lumps in it. You can just strain these off, but I'm just going to try, or you can leave the solution like this one was like this and I've just left it in the cupboard for a couple of weeks. So completely up to you. I'm just going to try, I'm going to give it a shake and then I'm just going to try and avoid the lumps when I use the actual solution and I've found that that works totally fine. But I've then got all my different pigments here. Uh, you don't have to use pigments to begin with, if you just want to practice with the chalk, that's totally fine, and just kind of try and get a consistency until you buy your pigments, that's fine. Everything I've got here is from Connibison down in London, you can just order online, uh, and I got everything from the same place, which was quite convenient. And then I've just got a piece of glass to mix on, but you could use plastic or a plate or whatever you want to use palette knife and I've got a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Uh, I'm wearing a mask because I'm not in a very well ventilated space. Uh, luckily, obviously, all pretty used to that at the minute, so it doesn't feel like much of a change. And then uh, I've also got my gloves on. So your acticide in particular is quite toxic, so just make sure obviously you keep it away from any food stuff when you're storing it and probably on a high shelf or whatever, keep it away from children and stuff. Your pigments are all toxic as well, but really only if they're ingested. So uh, I'm gonna start with quite hefty, hefty tablespoon of my French chalk. Then, so I've just made these gray ones. I'm gonna make a lighter gray now. So I'm gonna add in quite a lot of my white pigment. So this is titanium white and then I'm going to add a little bit of my ivory black which is what I used for these ones here. Just one little kind of scoop. A lot of this isn't an exact science, it's very much trial and error, seeing what works. Different pigments need different solutions of your liquids, so yeah it's kind of hard to have an exact recipe. I do have a little sketchbook over here where I try and make notes, but to be honest, I'm not very good at kind of keeping notes of all of them. And the same when I make food, I always forget to write down my recipes. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna kind of roughly mix my pigments into my chalk. It doesn't really matter too much at this stage because we're gonna mix it all anyway. And I'm just going to create like a little crater that I can put my liquids into. Uh, you can use a dropper at this point, it's probably easier than a spoon, but I just don't have one. Just used what was in my house. I'm just going to go in with a couple of little drops of acticide in there. You don't have to use acticide. Uh, like I say, it's a preservative, you don't have to use a preservative, I suppose, if you're just making them for yourself as well. Um, but I have 
found that it works quite well, so. Okay, then I'm gonna use the stronger Tragosant solution today. I've created some pastels with the weaker one, uh, and they're, they're fine, but they're just a bit crumbly. They sort of break quite easily. A lot of shop bought ones I found break quite easily as well, so uh, maybe that is just the nature of some pigments, they just don't mix as well. But yeah, so today I'm going to try the stronger solution and see how these pastels come out. So it's just a case of trying to get the right consistency from this point really. pretty solid pretty quickly with the chalk and the gum tragosant solution so I find it kind of easier to just mix it very very slowly my palette knife is not very strong I didn't buy it for this reason so it's a little bit flimsy if you don't have your equipment yet I would probably recommend getting one that's like a little bit stronger a big flatter one rather than a little triangle. Hopefully. Okay. Gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so this the kind of consistency that we're looking for is basically just so that it's rollable but not too sloppy. So you want to be able to kind of shape it. As you can see, I'm not very good at the shaping yet. Um, you probably want some kind of tissue paper or like parchment paper to roll them in. So you're meant to kind of roll them in the paper. I don't have anything like that. I've just been using like this old magazine paper and it's sort of, the pastels kind of stick to it a little bit so you can't really roll them in that paper. So I've just been rolling them with my hands and then yeah they sort of go a little bit flat and weird shaped but you know still perfectly fine to use. I'd say that's probably a tiny bit too wet still, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more chalk, not too much. try and go for the stage where it, where it easily lifts off the glass and doesn't leave too much of a residue, then that's kind of the point where I'd start to roll it probably. Um, I'm just going to give it a bit of a mix by hand. I can still see some little kind of lumps of chalk that I haven't quite mixed in. one of these and then I'm going to add some more pigments to it to make a different shade of that same one. So just leave that little pastel to dry in there. 
And then that is the process. Uh, you're going to leave them to dry for at least 24 hours. I find that they're better after a couple of days. And definitely don't try to rush that process. I have tried to use some before the 24 hours was up and they just crumble. The gum tragosanx needs a bit of time to kind of settle and harden. So yeah, I would definitely recommend leaving them for at least 24 hours before you use them. And then I will check back in when these ones have dried and let you know how they turned out.